Hi everyone and welcome back to Storytime. What do you think today's story is going to be about? Hmm, I think we should take a look for a clue. And where do you think we'll find a clue? In the clue bag. I only see one clue this time and it's pretty big. Whoa! It's a big letter. Do you know what letter this could be? It's the letter A. And is this a big letter or a little letter? It's a very, very big letter A. And that's because this week, we're going to be talking about some very, very big animals. Animals. And animals starts with the letter A. One line up, one line down, and a little line across makes the letter A. Are you ready to read a book about a very big animal? Yes, I'm ready to read a book. I want to give you a clue about what animal is in this book. I'm going to give you three clues. Are you ready? Number one, this animal is orange. Hmm. Number two, this animal has stripes. And number three, this animal starts with the letter T. Do you know an animal that's orange and has stripes and starts with the letter T? It's about a tiger. And this book is called Don't Wake Up. The tiger. Look, this tiger is sleeping. The tiger is sleeping. Should we read this book about the tiger? Yes. Let's open it up. Look how green it is. Lots of green. Here we go. Can you say that? Shh. Tiger is fast asleep and we don't want to wake her up. Tiger is fast asleep. But she's in the way. What will the other animals do? They're in a big hurry and they've got a bunch of balloons to carry too. How many balloons do you see? I see one, two, three, and four balloons. Oh dear, how will these animals get past the tiger without waking her up. Luckily, Frog has a very good idea. Frog is using his balloon to float over the tiger. Can you help to make sure that tiger stays sleeping? Swoosh, here goes Frog. Let's pet Tiger's nose. That always works. Where's your nose? There's your nose. And here is Tiger's nose. Shh. Go to sleep, Tiger. Shh. Oh, good. Tiger is still sleeping. Now it's Fox's turn. 
But look, Fox is too big and heavy for his balloon. And the balloon is dropping lower and lower over Tiger. Quick, can you blow as hard as you can to keep the balloon up? Ready? Can you help blow on the balloon? Fox made it across. Good job. Now it's Turtle's turn. He's looking a bit worried because Tiger is waking up. Let's pet Tiger's tummy. Where's your tummy? Can you touch your tummy? There it is. We'll pet Tiger's tummy nice and gentle. That will help her sleep. Shh. Yay, Tortoise got across. He couldn't have done it without you. But now it's Mouse's turn and she is shaking so much. <gasps> she let go of her balloon. Oh no! Mouse is falling right onto Tiger's head. Oh dear! Mouse is on Tiger's head. Quick, let's sing a lullaby. And can we rock the book too? Everyone knows that tigers love to be rocked to sleep. I need your help. Let's sing and rock back and forth. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, good. Phew, that was close, wasn't it? Stork is the last animal to cross. She can step over Tiger with her long legs. A big step over. But be careful, Stork. Watch out for the balloon. Pop! The Stork's beak popped the balloon. Oh dear, Tiger is wide awake. That means it's time for her surprise birthday party. Happy birthday, Tiger. Can you wish Tiger happy birthday? Happy birthday, Tiger. Everyone is so happy they're ready for a party. And that is the end of that story. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you later for another book and story about a different kind of very big animals. Bye-bye, everybody.